Good day and welcome back to Portland Meadows Racing Live Track Handicapper Matt Jukic joining you once again Friday night, September 21st. We're looking at our pick four ticket. Of course, just one pick four on the evening, it being a Friday night nine race card. We're going to start in race six. Unfortunately, we don't get to use our best bet of the day, which was in race four, but we'll see if we can find some other uh, keys here in this late pick four sequence, only pick four sequence on the nine race card. Race six is a maiden event going just six furlongs. I'm going to try a horse here on top. Anyways, it found plenty of trouble in his debut and has every excuse to uh, throw that one out and move forward off that. That's the five midgy we win. Off slow, clipped heels, but still able to get up for second And what was a monster effort after finding all that trouble in his first trip to the track. Have to think with any kind of run here, mm -hmm. any kind of clean trip, the five midgy we win is the one they're going to have to try and beat. We're also going to throw in the three hay seed Henry and Saguenetti Dave Duke. Coming off a nice runner-up effort, was against just Oregon Breads, now has to face the Open Company. Be able to see how he fares there, but another one who has a shot if Midgey we win. Was maybe flattered by a uh, horse coming back to him or something else that really wasn't clipping heels or, or getting off slowly. So we're going to cover two, three, and five in the first leg. Off to race seven, we're going to go three deep here. The three, Jack's Crack, and the five, who's laughing in the seven, a risky orbit. The one that interests me the most is the five who's laughing. I think there's going to be some pace to try and get this guy home in the lane. Second start off the bench. Did try a four and a half furlong event last out. Is going to get to six furlongs here, which should help. Bit of a late running effort. They're getting up for fourth beat. Just a little more than a length. But I think the second start off the bench should leave who's laughing in a pretty good spot here. If you can get away from the gate and not drop eight lengths behind the field early. But at least he has a little bit more ground to try and make it up. Jack's cracking. Hop to the start of his last, going four and a half. Same thing as uh, who's laughing. Probably throw it out. You can't lose a ton of ground early in those races. Really, uh, races can be won or lost away from the gate. And unfortunately for Jack's crack, and it was lost right there. I think either of those two starts before that one put him in the hunt today. The seven risky orbit was finally able to get up and wire a group of maidens. Hey, maybe he finally figured out that little confidence under his sails here. Might not get the same fractions he did in there, 23, 47, and 4. But uh, we'll throw him in just in case. He's getting good and just figuring out this racing game. 3, 5, and 7 for me in the 7th. Off into the 8th race, and this one kind of scares me. We're going to go too deep. The one overtime victory in the 6th, Sammy Choi. Overtime victory. If this race was going a mile and 16th, mile and an 8th, even mile and a half, uh, I think overtime victory would be an absolute cinch. Going just a mile, a little bit of a concern for overtime victory. He needs a little bit more ground to get rolling. But you can see that he's won uh, two straight races and was a runner-up in the race before that. I think Luis Torres has got a good feel for this guy now. You've got to get him into the race on the backstretch. You can't wait for them uh, to make one big move late. He's just going to run out of room because he drops at double-digit lengths back behind this field. He's got zero, zero speed away from the gate. But I think Torres has got a good feel for him now, winning two straight races by open lengths. He can get him into the race down the backstretch, keep him in contention, and then hopefully draw off as they hit the top of the stretch. If he falls asleep or if he gets too far back early, we're going to try and throw the six Sammy Choi in there as well. Really liked his runs here at Portland Meadows so far. Three trips over the track, three times in the top three, was second last out to Swiss Exploit, that free wheeling front runner, so no shame there. Was for 5,000, takes a slight drop down in class here to 3,200. Sammy Choi might get first run on the one horse overtime victory, so we're going to have both of them here. Looking for his first win at a flat mile, but he's hit the board in all four efforts. In the last race, we're going to try two speedy horses, the five, a.k.a. Bones, and the six, Lolita, Mi Morinita. Fun name to pronounce there. Uh, lots of speed from both of these ones. Hopefully they can not duel each other in a submission, and we have a couple live here. Uh, tough, tough race on the inside here with two who are trying to come back off a long layoff since 2011, more than a year and a half away here. Both of them, we're going to leave them alone. I think the most likely ones are the outside horses, the five and the six in here. So our $24 pick, four tickets, going to be the three, the five, with the three, five, and seven, with the one and six, with the five and six. Again, 24 bucks gets you in for that 14% pick four here at Portland Meadows. Maybe we can get lucky.